Hello, this is Vampire. For today's video, I want to cover a uh, Heaven Six with Double Knife. Okay, uh, I want to focus on the reverse grip for this uh, particular video, but first, let me just start off with a uh, standard grip like this double, both of them in the standard grip. So, when you're doing the Heaven Six like this, it's much easier than in double reverse. It's much easier than that because pretty much you just visualize this and treat this as like your Eskrima Sticks, but like a lot shorter okay so it pretty much the translation is much much more natural much more direct so you see I'm I'm doing heaven six motion like this no problem so obviously in this video please you have to already know how to do the heaven six that's your prerequisite so once again boom two three four five six that's your heaven six right there one two three four five six okay one two three four five six so when, when you're doing this the major difference is compared to the scrim stick it is a lot shorter okay so so that's definitely something you have to uh, feel and actually train the other thing is this is a blade bladed weapon it has an edge so we want to take advantage of that so as you're doing it you actually want to pay attention to that two three four five six one two three four five six so there's a little bit more this motion right here where I'm actually focusing on this with the, with a stick it just might be I'm just you know hitting and immediately retracting or I'm hitting to go through more like a home run hit not making contact to get the the cut this way you know where I'm pulling to cut so it, it is a little different in, in that sense. Uh, so you're going in one, so fo focus on the blade edge, two, you can slow it down, three, four, five, slow it down, but make sure you focus on the actual cutting aspect right there. It should feel, the mechanics should feel a little different, okay? So um, as you do this, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, five, six. It should come fairly natural. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. So next stop. Now we're gonna go ahead and go to reverse grip. Okay. So the first thing with the double reverse grip is notice that I'm holding it like this at this angle, not like this. All right. And the reason for that, I'm not holding it this way, is because if you hold it this way. Is one of the things that I actually look for if the bad guy is holding a knife and, and if they're holding it this way then all it takes is if the arm gets pushed boom like this you're already in danger of stabbing and cutting yourself now imagine that with more force boom like this so it, it is dangerous to you that's why you hold it out like this you never know if someone's gonna tackle you they just come out from the side you didn't you didn't expect it you didn't see them and you get thrown up against the wall or something like that. This is much safer than having it like this. Okay, so that's why this stance right here. Okay, so safety always first, right? Now, uh, number two is when we when we start doing the the heaven six motion. Okay, if we're gonna go one two three four five six one two three four five six one two three four five six one of the things that i want you guys to notice about what i just did right now is that as i'm doing it the knife so th this is my number one so from this i gotta do it from this stance which changes things a little bit right it takes a little bit of getting used to to start from here but then when i come in boom and i do my number one notice that the knife is never like this in front of my own face boom because that's all it takes if with recoil or you know just some force hitting my arm and if this had like one of those window breakers um, or uh, skull crushers or whatever that could be bad for me so here not in front of it so one and then over here here's my number two coming in same idea right here boom as I do it it's not here it's not in front of my face because I don't want it to come back there because it may, it might it may. So here's my number two. Number three, same idea. Boom, right here. It's not like this in front of me. It's over here. So here, here is 
my number three. This part's right here. One, same thing. Two, and then three. The knife is always, it's not here, but it's here. Okay, so keep it away from yourself. This is this is like a missile, you know? So, and, and this is like the jet part, the rocket part, and you don't want to get burned by that either, and you definitely don't want to be in front of it. So treat it kind of like that, okay? The other thing that I want you guys to focus on is this right here. The downwards, I'm gripping down. This, this is my power that I'm putting in for a split second. So right when I'm about to make contact, boom, I squeeze down like this. That's my number one. Here's my number two coming in. There, right when I'm cutting, right when I make that contact, boom, I squeeze, squeeze down. Here's my number three, boom. That squeezing down is, see, it makes that peck, boom. And then here goes back to number four, five, six, like so, boom. And I'm, I'm ready, ready to uh, go in for close contact if needed, bam, right here, okay? Again, one, here's my squeeze down for that. That's when it digs in, comes over here, boom. This is a squeeze down again, boom, two, and three. And once again, I'm making sure that it's never like right here, you know, it's off to the side right here, boom. And then that's my, that was my number three. So four, five, six, like so, okay, if, if needed. So uh, one, one more time, I'm coming here. One, there's that squeeze. Number two, boom, right here. And then at this point, maybe I can't get to here. Maybe we, it's already too close, then that's okay, boom, like so. Here's my uh, double skewer. <laughs> So from right here, using the double forearms that we've already done, boom, like this. And if I need to, this can hook and then this can slash. Okay, now I can come in here, all right, or I can continue the motion again, like so. So don't, don't be shy to put in from here when your arms get crossed and you're feeling this is a little too close, I can't really quite get to number three or I can't really quite get to number six. That's okay, boom. There it is for you right there, okay? So uh, that's it for now. This, this is why I like Eskrima so much, is that you can see it gets very, very deep. It, it can be technical, very technical. So it's up to you now to put in the time and make sure that that's muscle memory, okay? But uh, reverse grip is fairly complex, uh, especially when you're using something like this. It's, it's a, a lot more complex. Uh, we have a heaven six type stuff, but you know, that's, that's the challenge right there. Those are the puzzles that, that you figure out and, and you, uh, you progress that way. So, uh, thank you for watching and take care folks.